At this time in history, if a slave was fathered by a white slave owner, sometimes the slave was gifted to another family member and sent away. If Samuel Griswold was in fact Matilda's father, that may be how she came to work for Samuel's daughter, Eliza Greer. I did some research on Ancestry.com and came across a descendant of the Griswold family. Does it lie today? Yes. And I think she would like to meet you. So, what are your thoughts? One of Spike Lee's biggest influences was his grandmother, Zimmy Retha. He started this journey trying to find out more about his mother and grandmother's family history. And he's found a lot of surprises along the way. He's a landowner. He's a landowner, 1880. It all started here. Now, he may have found his family slave owners. Oh yes, there's a chance. And it appears his great-great-great-grandmother, Matilda, is the missing link to uncovering his family's past. With this new information, he can explore the possibility that Samuel Griswold was Matilda's father. She's listed as mulatto. Right. So but, but, Wil but Wilson is listed as a black. Though. Right. Who was her father? Is she the daughter of the slave owner? Good question. There's a possibility she was, you know, the descendant of Griswold. We know that in the 1870s, in the census, Matilda was a cook, right? right? In the Greer household. She was probably working prior to the end of slavery and even afterwards doing the exact same labor. They worked in the big house. Mm. And remained. So we got the Griswolds and the Greers. Yes. Griswold's daughter, Eliza, married Ebenezer C. Greer. And we have the slave schedules for Ebenezer C. Greer right. in July of 1860. From the 1870 census that you saw. Matilda was 44. Yep. So considering the age of Matilda, it seems to me that in 1860, 33 year old female mulatto, possibly this is the 33 year old Matilda. At this time in history, if a slave was fathered by a white slave owner, sometimes the slave was gifted to another family member and sent away. If Samuel Griswold was in fact Matilda's father, that may be how she came to work for Samuel's daughter, Eliza Greer. I did some research on Ancestry.com and came across a descendant of the Griswold family. Does it lie today? Yes, and I think she would like to meet you. So, what are your thoughts? Does she know her she on slave? <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite sure she does. <laughs> I'm flying to Texas. I'm about to meet a living descendant of Samuel Griswold, the man who owned my slave ancestor, Wilson. And he may possibly father his wife, Matilda, through rape. I'm really, I've really been uh, trying to keep an open mind. She had nothing to do with slavery. I don't even know if she actually knows what her ancestors did. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Mr. Lee. How you doing? Guinevere. Please call me Guinevere. <laughs> so. <laughs> I understand that we have Samuel Griswold in our lives. Who is he to you? He's my great-great-grandfather. Yeah. And what about you? My great-great-great-grandparents. Right, both. Wilson and Matilda Griswold. Right. They took on the name mm -hmm. of the slave master. Right. And your great-great-grandfather was possibly the father of my great, great, great grandmother. We are possibly third cousins twice removed. Twice removed. <laughs> I have a famous relative. Throughout the years, I would just be in an airport in New York or anywhere in America and just see a random white American say and think to myself, you know, I could be related to that person. Mm -hmm. 
and I never thought anymore about that. <laughs> but now yeah. it's hit me in the face. I'm on your couch and we're cousins. <laughs> You've been, you know what I would like you to know? What's that? <sighs> Slavery is awful. Mm -hmm. um, the situation of the people who lived for generations after, you know, was really horrible at bed. I think a lot more people were just as horrified by both slavery and the treatment of blacks in our country. Excuse me, I'm getting snivelly. <laughs> how do you feel about it? How, how do I feel? Yeah, about Samuel Griswold, you're... Well, I, I, I can't love the man. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't, or, or his wife, or any slave owner, because I just, how can you own another human being? So do you know who you are? Oh, I've always known who I've been, <laughs> who I am, but now I know more. <laughs> <laughs> This journey has been very meaningful. It's a living record of my ancestors on my mother's side of the family. Hopefully in the future, I do a film, that, uh, a slave epic. Really do something that uh, deals with the complexities that happen on the plantation. My grandmother, she might have known a lot, never told us, maybe because we didn't ask. I should have put on film what she could remember about her side of the family, but she would have been happy that, that we're doing this, for sure. She would want her great-great-grandchildren to know the legacy of the family. I hope that my children understand that they're on the shoulders of great people. They should use that to motivate them to, to excel. History is very important. I am who I am today based upon my ancestors.